Yes. Meanwhile, down south, Colleen attracted eclipse chasers as well as local enthusiasts who were all hoping for a great view of totality, and they certainly got it. Six News anchor Lindsay Lipman has reaction from Central Texas College. Before totality, and just a quick note, we met Leanna. We live north of Houston um, with the North Houston Astronomy Club. Give them a plug. You could say the stars aligned for her to end up here. It was very happenstance. So we had someone else that had a setup that was canceled because of the weather. And my brother had chosen Colleen. I'm like, OK, we'll go to Colleen. And then he canceled and we stayed. The sun is peeking out. Do you have high hopes? I do. It's Texas. You know, so in less, you know, five minutes till we'll know what we've got. Until then, it's all up for grabs. Looking on the bright yeah. side. Which way? Which way is this? We're eclipse well, chasers you well, can't miss. So we've traveled from Salt Lake City, Utah, Canada, and Phoenix for our team of eclipse chasers. It's looking good here today. Right over top. Looking forward to some totality. Sure as I got my remote, everything is going to be lined up. And then I just keep clicking away and then try to enjoy it and see it too. Going to the planetarium as a kid. I didn't see one until 1991. Sparked his interest. And my nephew was here who happened to um, be there. He was, of course, much shorter then. Oh, yeah. He's been roping me into it since I was yay big. This will be my 13th total solar eclipse. I've done three annular eclipses. And I've actually seen eclipses on all seven continents. There's only a handful of people that can say that. And our Canadian friend wants and, to point uh, out. You know, they, they like to call this the Great American Eclipse, but it's actually the Great North American Eclipse because it does begin in Mexico, come through the United States, and exit up through the provinces in Canada. But I thought Killeen, Texas would be the best. A small Texas town in hill country, not too many people, good weather. Turns out the sun guys and Leanna were right. A crystal clear view of totality. It was so dark, it was so many clouds, and then it just opened up and we were able to really see it, really see Vader's rings. You were able to see the diamond as it came. It was just, it was just great. It was just really great. Planetarium director Catherine Winston feels like it was a win. It couldn't have been per more perfect, honestly. The sun came out, the clouds cleared just in time. I, I really couldn't be more happy with what we had. In Colleen, Lindsay Lippman, 6 News. What a great story by Lindsay. And that means that one of the guys she interviewed has been to Antarctica for an eclipse. That's incredible. All seven continents. Okay.